permutation. Permutation is a mathematical technique that determines the number of possible arrangements in a set when the order of the arrangement matters. So take note that the order or the arrangement of the objects is important in permutation. Pag hindi siya, pag hindi importante ang order, that would, that would be another thing. Okay, that would be combination to be discussed in our next video lesson. Now, permutation follows the formula. Permutation of n taken r at a time is equals to n factorial over n minus r factorial. Again, permutation of n objects taken r at a time is equals to n factorial over n minus r factorial. So, ano tong n at ano tong r? Para mas maintindihan, let's move on to our example. So, 10 runners join a race. Example number 1. In how many ways can they be arranged as first, second, and third placers? Of course, we can solve this using um, fundamental counting principle. So, magiging pareho naman ang sagot. But this time, gamitin natin ang permutation. So, we have 10 runners here. So, our n is 10. And since we are going to take the, the rank or the place of the runners for first, second, or third placers, so we have, uh, we know that order here is important. And how many placers do we have? One, two, three. Therefore, our R is three. And let's follow our formula. Permutation of ten taken three at a time is equals to and factorial, let me write the formula. So, this will be n factorial is 10 factorial over 10 minus 3, kasi n minus r. So, 10 minus 3 factorial. This will lead you to 10 factorial over 10 minus 3, that is 7 factorial. And then, pwede nyo na itong i-divide gamit ang calculator. Pero syempre, mas madali namang ganito. So, 10 factorial is 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 factorial. Why I stopped with 7? Kasi yung ilalim naman natin, yung denominator natin ay 7 factorial. Maka-cancel din naman siya. 7 factorial divided by 7 factorial will be cancelled. And it will leave you with 10 times 9 times 8. Again, 10 times 9 times 8 is 720. So the answer here is 720 ways. Okay? Example number 2. Suppose that in a certain association, there are 12 elected members of the board of directors in how many ways can a president a vice president a secretary and a treasurer be selected from the board so again in this case we have 12 elected members and they will be assigned as president uh, they will be elected as president vice secretary treasurer so our order here is important so, therefore, again, our N is 12. So, how many positions do we have? The President, 1, 2, Vice President, Secretary, 3, Treasurer, 4. So, our R is 4. Okay, now, let's put it into our uh, formula. Permutation of 12 taken 4 at a time. So, this will lead us to Again, let me copy the formula para hindi tayo naliligaw. So, it will be 12 factorial over 12 minus 4. Again, 12 plus ri4. So, this will be 12 factorial over 12 minus 4 is 8 factorial. Now, compute tayo. Or sorry, rewrite natin 12 times 11, times 10, times 9, times 8 factorial. Again, I stopped with 8 kasi ang aking denominator ay 8 factorial. 
Kaansal natin siya and it will lead us to 12 times 11 times 10 times 9. Calculate na tayo. 10, sorry, 12 times 11 times 10 times 9. Equals, the answer is 11,880. 11,880 weeks. Okay? Now, I have here two more examples. Ayan. You may pause the video and you may solve it. Okay. Now, when you're done, let, please resume with the video. Now, let's answer. In how many ways can you place a nine different books on a shelf if there is a space enough for only five books? So, we have nine different books, but there's only five available space so we are going to arrange the books in the shelf so again order here is important so in this case again our n is 9 our r is 5 since 5 ang space doon sa ating bookshelf so permutation of 9 taken 5 at a time and then we'll have 9 factorial over 9 minus 5 factorial. It will be 9 factorial over 9 minus 5 is 4. So this will lead you to 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial divided by 4 factorial. So this will be cancelled out. So calculate tayo ulit. You have 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5. Ayan. Equals 15,120. So the answer here is 15,120 ways. Okay, so let's have last number. Last example. A dress shop owner has 8 new dresses that she wants to display in the window. If the display window has five mannequins, in how many ways can she dress them up? So again, iaayos yung mannequin doon sa, sorry, yung dress doon sa mga mannequins. So order here is important. So how many dresses do we have? We have eight new dresses. How many mannequins are available? Five. So our R is five. So let's move it. Permutation of 8 taken 5 is 8 factorial over 8 minus 5 factorial. So this will lead you to 8 factorial over 8 minus 5 is 3 factorial. So it will be 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial divided by 3 factorial. Cancel this out. Now let's compute. This will be 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 until 4 only. Sorry, but plus times pala, sorry. 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4. And equals 6,720. So the answer is 6,720 ways. So, in these examples, there, will, there are no conditions or restrictions. So, in the next examples, later I will have the conditions. For now, again, this is our formula. Permutation of n taken r is equals to n factorial over n minus r factorial. Distinguishable permutations. This is the permutation of objects if some are identical or alike. Okay, so merong mga pare-pareho doon sa listahan ng objects na i-arrange natin. So with, with that condition, the formula is permutation is equals to n factorial over p factorial, q factorial, r factorial. Yung n, ito yung total number of objects na i-arrange natin. Yung p, yung b lang na may kapareho. Ganun din yung q at yung r. Para mas malinaw, let's move on to our example. How many distinguishable permutations are possible with the letters of the word 
palakpakin. So, yung word natin ay palakpakin. So, if, kung i-rearrange natin yung letters ng word na yan, ilang possible arrangement meron tayo? Okay, so yun yung tanong sa permutation. But, since may pare-parehong object or letters sa ating given word, kailangan natin ng distinguishable permutations. In, our, in this given, ano yung may kapareho? Of course, yung P. How many P's do we have? One, two. So, meron tayong dalawang P. And then, we have A. Ilan ang A? One, two, three. We have three A's. And then, we have K. One, two. There are two K's. So, itong mga numbers na to, ito ang magiging PQR natin. And what is our N? How many letters do we have in, in the word palakpakin? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Again, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So, our N is 10. So, for as to compute for the distinguishable permutation, so, an, ang N natin ay 10, so 10 factorial over these numbers, ito yung number of repetitions na meron tayo doon sa ating word na palakpakin. So, this is 2 factorial times 3 factorial times 2 factorial. And then, let's compute. Of course, kung may calculator, pwede nang compute ng diretso. Pero pa ito natin yung process. So, we have here 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Divided by, isa-isay natin to, yung 2 factorial, 2 times 1. 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. And then we have 2 factorial, 2 times 1. Uh, meron bang pwedeng ma-cancel out? Of course, eto, pwede natin i-cancel yung 3, 2, 1. 3, 2, 1, then 3 times 2 times 1. So, ba? Cancel na siya. 10 and 2, pwede ba? Yes, 10 divided by 2 is 5. Okay, cancel na si 10. Si 2, pwede pa ang sa 4. So, 4 divided by 2, that is, again, 2. Cancel na siya. Ang naiwan na lang sa baba ay 1. So, 1 ng denominator. There will be no problem with that. So, multiply natin ang 5, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, and 2. So, gamit ang calculator, pwede natin gawin 5 times, sorry, 5 times 9 times 8 times 7, times 6, times 5, times 2. 5, 10, so 5, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, times 2, equals 151,200. So this is 151,200. Distinguishable permu Okay? So, kung gusto nyo ganito, pwede yung diretsyo na yung permutation, pwede naman. So, pwede yung pwede yung sa calculator. Now, let's have example number 2. Again, pwede nyo i-pause for a while para kayo mag-solve. And then, resume when you're done. So, let's continue. We have Philippines here. So, what are the letters that was repeated in the word Philippines? We have letter P. 1, 2, 3. We have 3 P's in the Philippines. So, therefore, you have 3. And then, letter H, wala na ulit. I, how many I's do we have? So, we have 1, 2, 3. Tatlo din ang I. 1, 2, 3. What else? Na ulit pa ba ang S? Hindi na. Ang L, hindi rin. So, th that's it. So, yung H, hindi naman na ulit. So, we have that 3 and 3. Ito lang, P and I lang ang may, may, um, alike. Identical dun sa ating word na Philippines. So, how many letters do we have for Philippines? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, our N is 11. So, Let's find the permutations. P is equals to 11 factorial over 3 factorial times 3 factorial. Then, of course, it will be 
11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Divided by 3 times 2 times 1, then another 3 times 2 times 1. Let's see kung may mga cancel. Yes, it will be cancelled. Pareho naman sila. And then we may divide 9 by 3. So, pwede ko tong i-cancel. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And then you may divide 8 by 2, right? So, 8 divided by 2 is 4. So, wala na naiwan sa ba? 1 na lang. So, let's multiply our numerators. So, 11. So, 11 times 10 times 3 times 4 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4. Review natin. So we have 10, 11, sorry, 4, 7, 6, 5, 4. 3, 4, 7, 6, 5, 4. And then meron dyan, sa kabila, meron pang 11 and 10. So, equals. The answer is 1,108,800. So, 1,108,800 permutations. So, that's all about distinguishable permutations. This applies not only for the letters with, with the word with the same letters. In any permutation of objects with the same identical objects, we may apply distinguishable permutations. Circular permutations. So, from the word itself, we are going to permute or find the number of ways we can arrange objects in a circle. So, the formula is permutation is equal to n minus 1 factorial. So, let's have example number 1. How many ways can seven visitors be seated in a round dining table? So, we have seven visitors. They will be seated sa isang bilog na dining table. So, how, how can we compute for this? So, our n here is seven. So, permutation is equals to n minus one. So, seven minus one factorial. So, this is six factorial. So, again, 6 factorial is 6 times 6 times 5, sorry, times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 equals 720. So, the answer here is 720 ways. Now, next example how many ways can nine board members be seated in a circular forum table? So this time, nine naman sila. So our n is nine. Permutation of nine minus one factorial. Sorry, is equals to. So this will be eight factorial. So what is eight factorial? Eight times seven times 6, times 5, times 4, times 3, times 2, times 1. Or simply, 8 factorial. The answer is 40,320. 40,320 ways.